Those have better moves. back to racing doesn't really seem like we've had any time off uh, through the holidays i guess we had about a month maybe five weeks between races but uh back again here we go yeah the ama came out with a new rule this year you couldn't you can't put your camera or any attachments onto your helmet so we're dealing with a new angle here not the greatest but we'll make it work So this year I get to start on the intermediate line. I got enough wins last year to move up from novice to intermediate. So that's a plus. So I'm riding with uh, some faster riders here. Uh, like always, battle in the dust. Just kind of settling in too because this is an 80 mile race. I'm not going to win it in the first couple miles. But it's always nice to get a good start and um, avoid as much dust as you can. Everyone's kind of scrambling right here to, you know, get position. But like I said, 80 miles is a long way. Now the checkers put together a really good course. Um, both laps or loops one and two were really fun. Uh, probably the right amount of difficulty for both loops. The second loop did get a little challenging. I was getting really tired towards the end of it, but uh, really fun. This guy I started next to, um, if you look back at the beginning anyway, passes me right here. We swapped places a few times. Uh, which made it fun, you know, kind of bouncing back and forth with position and watching him go fast in sections and then later on I catch him. So yeah, watch out for that guy on the KTM with the blue pants. Um, he had a GoPro too, so maybe he'll fork out a video, but him and I exchange spots quite a bit. You'll see him throughout the race. Coming up here in the next clip, you're going to see someone laying on the ground. I hope, uh, I don't know who it was, but I hope they're okay. He had plenty of help and uh, people assisting him there. And you could see the road crossing right behind us. So we were close to the road if he needed uh, you know, any type to get driven out or whatever. And that dirt digger that just passed me was Josh. I met him you know, in the camp this uh, weekend. And uh, we'll see him later in the race too. I guess this is a good time to thank the dirt diggers uh, Thank you, Dirt Diggers. Uh, awesome job in the pits. Thanks for you know, letting me camp in the camp. And all the support, man. You guys are great. Well, so I can shut up. Uh, let's talk about the finishing. I came in fifth in the senior heavyweight intermediate class. 
like I said, this is my first time in that class, so that's actually really good for me anyway. I'm super happy, super happy I was able to do 80 miles without getting hurt and get a finish, so that's a plus. And looking at the times, I was only about seven minutes off first place, so that's the kind of stuff that keeps you addicted, it keeps you coming back. I just can't wait to go back and see if I can do better and uh, keep going. The next race is in Johnson Valley. It's the National Heron Hound. That'll be the second one of the series. Just, it's almost like I can't wait. Yesterday I was so beat down. I was like, I don't know if I'm ever doing this again. But, shoot, the feeling's back today making this video. Uh, can't wait. So, enjoy the rest of the video. Like I said, if you get bored, skip up to 20 minutes. That's where uh, probably the most interesting footage is. And uh, thanks for watching. Awesome.
think, right here? I'm gonna try right there, yeah. I got you, bud.
going for the high five. Yeah, I'll get your high five. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. She's done. Dude. First race too. Oh no. But you could keep racing. Yeah, I'm gonna go on. Right. Sweep will get you. Yep. Oh man, you got stuck too? Can't wait forever. Tell me about it.
Fuckers. 